Hey, what's up? So are you new to wholesaling real estate or are you having trouble getting consistent paychecks every single month? If you answered yes to either one of those questions, please stick around. You might learn something. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Graylin Stewart. I am a real estate wholesaler and investor and just entrepreneur overall. But my channel is all about wholesaling real estate. We wholesale houses all day, every day. Um, and we do it nationwide and 100% virtually. My team is all virtual. We all work from our homes. And every deal we get, we get directly over the phone. So anyways, if you wanna learn more about wholesaling real estate, you found the right channel. So today's video, however, is all about um, exactly what I said at the beginning. You know, are you having trouble uh, actually getting a check every single month? Or maybe you're just completely brand new to wholesaling and you want to learn more. Okay. So here's what it is. In my opinion, when, when you're not uh, getting consistent checks, obviously everything that we do, you have to be consistent. Okay. You have to have uh, consistent action in income producing activities every single day if you want to be successful in this business at least if you want to make consistent paychecks month after month okay um, but the biggest issue that i see most people make and luckily because i have a sales uh, and marketing background i never fell into this uh, trap if you will um, but if you want consistent paychecks every single month you got to keep your pipeline full so what does that mean so your pipeline obviously is is your leads it's a consistent lead flow coming into your business every single day or every single week uh, and every single month okay because here's what happens i've seen this happen to a lot of new wholesalers um, that have that have always you know local people or you know people across the u.s you know they may have reached out to me and they've given me these kind of concerns they're like well how do you how do you bring in these checks consistently you know they're, they're always like well my issue is not selling uh, I'm pretty good at getting the deal or my issue is not finding the buyer you know I'm pretty good at finding a buyer or whatever but I can't get consistent paychecks and usually when you start breaking down you know the reasons a lot of times it, it stems from um, just their lead flow uh, so doing consistent advertising is is first thing that you have to do to get consistent lead flow um, but not only that, once you have those leads, you have to follow up like a boss, right? Follow up all day, every day with your leads. And if you don't have a lot of leads to follow up with, then you're going to have um, that consistency issue as far as your paycheck goes. But when, when I'm talking about have a full pipeline, I'm talking, you know, have lots and lots of leads in your pipeline ready to go that you can call on every single day. Um, because let's just say, for example, you've got... A couple of deals under contract and as you know if you've been in this business for a while or if you're brand new and you don't know uh, deals are gonna fall out that you cannot control okay uh, it's not always about getting the deepest discount with the seller it's not always about can you find a buyer or not um, it all really stems from is there a clean title on the property and you don't really know those things until you get the deal and it's in escrow with the title company so that's the trap people can fall into. You're like, okay, I got this deal. I found a, a great deal with the seller. I already found a buyer and I've got it to sign. I'm going to make $15,000. This stuff happens to us all the day, all, uh, all the time, by the way, which is why I'm telling you this. So you've got this $15,000 payday coming and you're anticipating that. But a lot of times you stop the activities that you were doing to get you that $15,000 potential payday. And now that's one thing too. It's always a potential payday until you actually have either the check in hand or the wire in your bank. Okay, um, so don't be dependent on these potential deals. It looks promising. Yes, that's great, and you could definitely celebrate those wins. But it's not a full win until you actually have the money in hand. Okay, so staying consistent is is definitely key in your advertising to keep bringing these leads in. But not only that, when you have the leads follow up like a boss all day every day with these deals okay so you can't count on for that same example I was I was going towards uh, you got two deals in escrow right now 
one of them you got a potential fifteen thousand dollar payday coming because you've already got it assigned to a to an end buyer and the other one maybe you're actively searching for a buyer but nevertheless your lead flow can't stop because what happens if this fifteen thousand dollar deal doesn't doesn't close because there's too many title issues and you can't get them worked out and then what happens if this other deal you just straight can't find a buyer because maybe you locked it up too high maybe it's in an area that no buyers really want um, you know maybe it's it's reasons that you still can't control fully but it's not title issues so let's just say both of those two deals fall out well you were counting on 15,000 at a minimum and potentially you're hoping to maybe count on this other deal that ended up you know going away you know falling apart as well so what do you do then then you're stuck right but if you have a huge pipeline you've got lots of leads that you're always talking to doing consistent deals all the time you know yeah these this may sting when you lose that 15k and it may suck when this when you can't really get this deal assigned but at the same time it's not the end of the day because you've other you've got other deals coming in because now you've got new contracts coming in uh, that maybe you have potential with and you're still following up with other deals and that's why it's important you know to kind of have a team once you get going but if you're a one-man show that's no problem you know I did this everybody starts as a one-man show um, but my first several months I was just by myself I worked a lot but I was really organized and um, I stayed on top of things so that's the main thing you want to stay stay organized so if you've got a hundred leads even and you've got maybe you're talking to uh, ten of those that are really good potential and you've got two under contract they both fall through but you still got those other eight that have really good potential so you got to talk to those you know follow up with those people all the time and then your other 80 or 90 whatever leads that you have you gotta you know you gotta keep following up with those two on a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly basis at a minimum right so the point is have a good pipeline that's just sales 101 in general um, your pipeline is really everything um, but it all starts with marketing if you've got consistent marketing going out then you're gonna have a lot of leads coming in which the leads are your pipeline okay so keep your pipeline really full so that when those sucky days come you know it doesn't affect you as much um, you know we have one right now uh, for example that um, we assigned the deal we're supposed to make twelve thousand dollars it's actually supposed to close uh, this week but it's not gonna happen we found out that there was um, some unique situations to where the seller is legally not even allowed to sell until October of 2025 for whatever reason even the title company said that they've never seen uh, this situation but nevertheless there's documents out there that support and it's actually preventing uh, the seller from actually selling us the house until 2025 so what are we gonna do you know we were hoping for this twelve thousand dollars but at the end of the day it's not that big a deal we've got other deals closing we've got a thirty nine thousand dollar deal closing this week um, and another fifteen thousand dollar deal closing this week so you know it's not the end of the world to lose the twelve is the whole point of this that's why it's important if you can have a good pipeline these deals that you're losing that kind of go south on you are not as big of a deal yes it still sucks there's no way to prevent that who wants to lose 12k right nobody but you can't do anything about it and at the end of the day if you've got other money coming in it doesn't hurt near as bad so that's the takeaway from this get good at having a you know a lot of leads in your pipeline following up with those like crazy so you always have a bunch of deals in escrow um, like I've mentioned in other videos we typically have 15 to 20 deals in escrow at all times because not all of those deals are gonna close some of them we have different time periods uh, as far as inspection periods go and that kind of thing but we hope to close you know two or three of those every single week and usually that's what happens um, that's why we, we typically have you know a big pipeline We've got leads coming in all the time, deals coming in all the time, but they all don't close. That's just part of the game. So if you know that ahead of time, you know, do preventative maintenance, keep your pipeline full so you can keep those leads coming, so you can get contracts coming, so you can have consistent cash in your bank every single month, okay? So anyways, hopefully that was beneficial to you. Hopefully it made sense. Drop me a comment if you got any comments to where maybe you've lost a deal and it sucked really bad. You know, I've been there for sure, but, um, definitely give me a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already i'd highly appreciate it 
Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.